Miyuki Matsune, SP Gymnastics. Miyuki, the team's been on the road now. It's uh, been two weeks in a row. You have another one this week. Uh, how things been going being away uh, from home so long? Yeah, well, it's it's been nice. It's nice to travel with the team. It's always really fun to go to the different places that we do. Um, we definitely miss being home, but we'll have a home meet coming up soon. Last week, it was a Saturday night meet at Air Force in Colorado Springs. Uh, not a terrific team result, but some real good individual results. Uh, your thoughts on that meet? Yeah, well, we definitely did have um, some mistakes uh, during the meet, but overall, I think we stayed really well together as a team. We never gave up, and we were supporting each other throughout all four events, so I think it was a good meet overall. One of the highlights of the meet was uh, you on the balance beam, uh, 9.775, the top score uh, by any Falcons gymnast this year on that apparatus. Uh, how did you feel about your performance? Yeah, I was really happy to uh, get that done with. I've been working really hard in the gym, and it was nice for me to go out there and do a routine that I knew that I could do and get a good score out of it. Well, we uh, would be um, delinquent if we didn't mention that your routine was even more impressive, that you essentially did it one-handed. Why don't you hold up your uh, left wrist there? Uh, yeah. You uh, have been competing with that this year. Mm -hmm. How is it that you can even compete on the beam with, uh, with just one hand? Yeah, well, um, after I found out that I fractured my metacarpal, um, it was kind of funny. Laurel right away was like, well, we I know a routine that you could do with one arm. And so it's nice to know she's, you know, very determined to make sure I'm back out there competing. And I learned a routine that I only have to use my right hand with. And I make sure I have all my bonus still. And so I'm really lucky that I'm able to do that routine and still compete this season. Is there one real difficult series, or what is the most challenging uh, part of your routine with just the, the one hand? Um, well, luckily, a lot of the skills that I had in my usual routine, I don't use my hand. I already had a one arm for handspring that I do, and I just had to fix my series. So I would say my series is probably my most um, nerve-wracking skill, just because it is new this year, and so I need to make sure I hit that. But overall, the other skills I'm pretty confident on. You had a little lighter, from what I understand, a little lighter um, brace on them this week than in competition last week. But h how are you managing? How mu how awkward is that to have some extra weight there on the wrist? Yeah, well, especially with the cast, it was really hard because that's a lot heavier than the splint I have now. But um, it's just hard overall, just not even not really being able to move my hand and just kind of having it there. But um, I just try to take every skill one at a time. Now, thankfully, you're a, a beam specialist. You also competed on bars and floor last year, but I'm guessing all those other three yeah. events are out of the question with one yeah. hand. Yeah, not for this season. Um, I've been doing some one-arm tumbling just to kind of make sure I'm still, you know, have my cardio up and just want to make sure I'm going to be able to get back into it as soon as I can start weight-bearing. And is this the way you're going to be competing uh, with your wrist wrapped the rest of the season? Yeah, uh, I'm supposed to have the splint on for a couple more weeks and so I need to make sure I have it wrapped just because it can be like a distraction so we have to have it wrapped and also just so it's like tied on my arm so nothing's like shifting on it. Right. Outside of the gym, what is the most challenging part of uh, having your, your left wrist wrapped like yeah, that? Yeah, just overall little things that I can't do, like I can't put my hair up. I've been having a teammate put my hair up for the past four weeks. and. Tying my shoes is a little difficult because it is hard to move my other two fingers, even the ones that I have out, and just little things that you don't necessarily know you use your fingers for until you can't use your left hand. <laughs> That's right. And uh, were you right-handed to begin with? Yes, yeah, so luckily I have my good hand okay. to use. Very nice. Well, this week the team goes down to Sacramento, some uh, teams you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. It's another three-team meet. San Jose State will be in that. Uh, what's going to be the key to your team succeeding down there in Sacramento? Yeah, well, I know we're all really excited to uh, go back to California. It's always nice. The sun's always out. Um, but I think us just being confident and just trusting what we do in practice because we all have been working really hard and every single one of us can do it. So I think just confidence and enjoying every moment that we have, being able to compete. You have uh, several, six freshmen on the team this year. Seems like a whole, uh, whole new group. and. How has that been? You're, you've only been in the program two years, yeah. but you're already the veteran. How has that been uh, bringing them into the team? Yeah, um, this year has been really nice. We've all clicked really well. Um, we're all supportive of each other. I'm close with you know everyone on the team. And I think it's not necessarily like 
a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, this year feels a lot more united and we're all, you know, uh, together and it's just been really nice. Great. Well, why don't you tell us where you're from? Uh, from California, so SoCal area, kind of around LA. And where, what uh, specifically? Are you uh, West Covina. West Covina, yeah. perfect. So I, I think we like to get people who are not familiar with where that yeah. is. Uh, generally, Southern California people, the point we pick is Disneyland. Disneyland. If you, uh, from West Covina, your house uh, got in a car, how long did it take you to drive to Anaheim or Disneyland? Probably like 40 minutes, depending on traffic, but yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And what, uh, what are you majoring, or what do you plan to major in? I'm planning to major in math. Yep. And long term, after gymnastics is done here and, and college is over for you to graduate, what do you see yourself doing? Um, I'm hoping to teach. I'm not exactly sure what level yet. I'm thinking high school, but as of right now, I think teaching math. And as uh, a math major, is there a specific uh, uh, kind of math, or what, what do you like best about the, their, their different areas? What do you like best about math? Um, I think overall, I just it's always been my most favorite subject to do, just because um, I kind of struggle with some of the others. But I like the problem solving, and I like that it's pretty straightforward. Like if you know the formulas and the stuff to do, you know you could figure it out just using the different numbers and stuff. So I've just always liked math. Well, you're in the right sport, gymnastics, with a lot of numbers <laughs> yeah. and going into decimals. So, you could, it's been great spending some time with you. Thanks so much, and good luck in Sacramento this Thank week. Thank you.